Without wasting any more time, uh, bila kupoteza wakati wote. We have Pastor Gary this morning. Tuko na mchungaji Gary asubuhi ya leo. He is a man of God. Yeye ni mtumishi wa Mungu. And I know through him we are going to receive something from God. Najua kupitia kwa yeye tutapokea kitu kutoka kwa Mungu. So I want you to prepare your hearts to receive something. Muandae mwe yenu mpoke kitu. How many of you are blessed of the Lord this morning? Ongapo mmebarikiwa na Bwana asubuhi. Amen. Amen. So we have honorable it is awesome to think that we come from two different lands but our hearts are one. Amen. Amen. We are teaching our leaders the laws of leadership. And I want to encourage you to have a leadership training time for your leaders in your church. This is where you can take this kind of material and train your leaders how to lead and how to build into others. That is the law of multiplication. It moves out and through other leaders who pass it on to others. So let us look back at your booklet. The letter C. The other thing Paul did was he established new churches. This was an, a priority. I am involved with a group that trains people to plant churches. My main role is to help uh, train uh, guys that don't know exactly how to do this. I know many of you are involved with this too. You are raising up church planters to plant more churches here in Kenya. And that is one of the greatest works we could do. There is a particular group in my country that named themselves Acts 29. And you, I'm sure you know that the book of Acts has 28 chapters, right? So in saying they are Acts 29, they are saying they are the next chapter. And that is what we are. We are Acts 29. We are the next part of the story. How God is working through his leaders to, to spread his church through the world. Another thing that Paul did in your book uh, letter D is communication to equip Christians. And this is so important. This is about building into people 
depth. I talked with a, a person here uh, from Kenya. He was um, visiting and doing some work over here. And I was talk, asking him about his impressions of the church here in Kenya. And he used that expression that, that um, he's heard or thought that um, it, it was a mile wide and an inch deep. I know that is not true for all. Mm. I know there is great depth here. But deep theology is what we need. As a leader, if you are going to build up others, you need to have a deep theology. Pastor Dave and I have talked with, uh, about other leaders. One day, he, he made the expression that I didn't get much from him. And what he was saying, there wasn't a lot of depth the person didn't have a lot to share he didn't have much that he had learned to share with us the apostle Paul was deep in my teaching of 1st and 2nd Corinthians I observed this about Paul he solves every problem with deep theology he always has so much to share. I'm reminded of the story in the book of Acts. Where Paul is sharing in the evening. And he spoke to them until midnight it says. And seated in a window was a young man named Eutychus. Who was sinking into a deep sleep. And the Bible says that Paul talked on and on. And Eutychus fell asleep. Do you have ever see people fall asleep in your churches? <laughs> I have seen many people fall asleep in my churches. Their, their eyes roll back and their heads fall back. And their mouths open up. And they start to snore. Now they usually don't snore. <laughs> because I like to do this if someone falls asleep. I stop the service. And we all come around this person. To lay hands on them. To wake them up in the Lord. <laughs> Let us look at um, the, what is on your booklet here, the truths about the law of explosive growth. I want to read each one of these lines. It's not about addition, but about multiplication. It begins slow, but eventually mushrooms. It's not about...